Alright, so I just wanted to show off what I've been working on here over the last couple of weeks. Alright, so of course we still have our, you know, our little space guy here. We've got some nice, you know, animations here. He can, of course, you know, shoot his little laser pistol, and I really like this here. Once he does a little bit of shooting, his pistol just snap right back onto his hip there, and I think that's super cool. <laughs> I really like that. Uh, anyway, let me show off this mechanic over here because I think this mechanic is going to be a lot of fun. So we have our little roller carry device here. And if you tell it, if you give it the command, it will follow you around. And, you know, that's pretty neat. It'll stop if it gets, you know, within a certain distance of you, which is good. It won't slam into you. It won't screw up your camera or anything. And then if you tell it, it'll just stop. Coming over here, we can of course pull out our pistol and we can use this now as like a gravity gun. So we can pick up physics objects and we can, you know, walk around with them, which is neat. But we've got some synergy with our little roller guy here. You notice any physics objects, if you put them on top, it'll snap right on there. And now you can carry, if you tell it, <laughs> you can carry these things around. It'll follow you as you traverse the level. I've got it working with our little launch pad right here, so you can go ahead and launch your your thing up there to try to get some verticality, get some movement in there. One more little piece of uh, interest here is if you launch it, you can actually attempt to get it to float. The object it's carrying right now is a little bit too heavy for it to float. It still tries, um, but I think that's gonna make for some nice level design and some nice puzzles in the future as we're trying to get these things you know, across the level, especially when you have a flying character. You know, because if your character can move vert vertically, you know, what what is all of the challenge? Anyway, pretty nifty. Uh, so I headed, I went on over to NASA, nasa.com.gov, uh, and they have a, pretty much everything they've put up into space. They have a model. Hey, stop following me. They have a model of it. Uh, everything they have is unfortunately in uh, .3ds. I don't use 3ds Max, so you'll have to do some conversions there. Uh, but it was really fun just to you know kind of download everything and take a look at it. In the end, I decided not to go with their their direct model one because you know that's cheating, and two, just seemed it just seemed like more fun to just go ahead and kind of make make your own or make my own version my own stylized version and i think as you're looking at these these two here it's obvious they're part of the same set they go together they belong together um which i like okay enough of that let's go ahead and take this out for a spin so of course you can just go ahead and get right under the shuttle here and you can take it out <laughs> and i like that i think that's pretty fun i think this is going to make for some really kind of interesting, kind of fun, kind of, you know, dynamic levels. Yeah, pretty nifty. If you, of course, once you eject from the shuttle, uh, it spawns you right onto the top. Pretty nifty. All right. So let me show you kind of where I envision we're going to be heading here. Of course, we've got, made some interesting little plants here. We've got an enemy prototype. Nothing's hooked up on it yet. But let's go ahead and take a look at kind of what I think I'll be working on for the next little section here. And it'll take just a second to load up. Here we go. So now we have kind of our level here. Ooh, we've got the <laughs> lights a little bit too bright coming off that shuttle, don't we? Uh, in any case, we have a space station. And I think this is going to be pretty fun. So the core idea here is, of course, you'll have to fly your spaceship in and there is going to be some stuff happening on this space station <laughs> yeah so we'll see um you know we've got our our like docking bays here for larger ships which i might populate and then of course we have our ooh, our entrance shuttle which you can just barely barely squeeze your shuttle in it doesn't matter though i don't have collisions turned on <laughs> so anyway yeah we've got this nice central ring here i think i think this is going to make for a good 
interesting level. And, you know, those enemies that I had earlier, we'll go ahead and, you know, model those out a little bit nicer, get them spun up. But anyway, yeah. Yeah, so I think, uh, I think we've got the beginnings of a pretty fun little game here. All right, so I think... I think that's about it this time. So anyway, um, if you like it, definitely let me know. If you have any suggestions, also let me know. If you have any criticisms, be nice about it. <laughs> All right. Other than that, thanks for checking it out. Talk to you later. Bye.